hello students as we have already completed one class in this chapter that is lesson 9 that is soil so that is this is our second class in the first class we all, uh, only discussed a little brief description description of soil what is soil and little uh, about soil profile so here in this lesson or uh, in this class we will be discussing a little deep about soil profile so soil is here we, you can see so soil is not a single material or not a single substance so it's not a single substance so it is made up of or composed of many layers so if you take the soil so in the soil uh, in the previous class also you have seen so in the soil uh, different layers are there so in a, uh, in a piece of uh, if you take this much of soil or uh, big piece of soil so it is not a single layer so it's made up of different layers so if we uh, see the cross section of one side of the soil so we can see the different layers so this uh, soil is basically uh, composed of many layers or different layers so what are these layers now we will see so if you see this picture uh, the here we can see four layers are there one two i have marked with a uh, different um, color so that you can easily understand so this uh, layer one two three and four layers are there basically so first layer is we can we call it as a horizon or a horizon you can call it and the second layer is called as <coughs> b horizon and c and the third layer is called c horizon and the fourth one is not d horizon you remember it so you may be going like that a horizon b horizon c horizon and d so the, the fourth one is not uh, our d horizon it's bedrock it's different so a b c bedrock so a horizon is the topmost layer that uh, that is a top soil uh, that I told. So that is the topmost soil, which contains most uh, most amount of humus. So humus is on a thing, but uh, dead, uh, dead organic remainings of different uh, organisms or leaves or plants or different animals and waste of different animals or vegetable waste or whatever means biodegradable waste that we throw and that converts into different types of uh, manure so that is uh, that, get con that gets converted into uh, or humus so this in the top soil we find the humus most of the con uh, content of humus so humus is a good thing it's like um, it gives nutrition to the plants so that's why the uh, in the, in the on the top soil only the plants grow so from this topsoil, the humus is providing a nutrition to these plants. So on the topsoil, the plants grow. So remember this one, the plants grow on topsoil because it contains most amount of humus. And humus is very good for these plants and all. So now uh, going back to this, uh, going down to this B horizon. So B horizon is just below this uh, topsoil or O horizon. So and above C horizon. So here you we find more compact in B horizon we find more compact uh, soil means the soils are tight the particles of the soils in this B horizon are more tightly packed in compared to A horizon in A horizon you find the soils are little loosely arranged or loosely packed and in this B horizon the um, soils will be little tightly more tightly they will be packed and here they are very dense the soil will be and in the third that is C horizon we find some gravels or some stones some rocks will be there and along with that one some soils will be there means previously there were uh, stones were there but um, due to natural acti natural activity or the pressure or uh, what happened those rocks got broken and converted into soils so some of the remaining some of the remaining of the uh, rocks are there you can see here and some of them has got converted into soil so and this fourth one that is bedrock in the bedrock you can see all these are different boulders different big, big big rocks are there so in the fourth layer we find only rocks they will eventually at one point of time they will get converted into soil so here you can see its name is bedrock rock yeah so here you will find mostly the different big big rocks are there so this is all about the soil profile a soil profile composed of mainly basically four layers these are a horizon b horizon c horizon and bedrock so in a this a horizon is the topmost one 
this uh, v origin is between a origin and c origin and then we have the c origin and then ultimately in the end we have the bedrock so these are the four different layers of soil profile so now if we see the types of soil so here we can see once again so that uh, there are mainly three types of soil that is sandy soil uh, then we have clay soil and loamy soil so first we will um, see this one sandy soil so it consists of small particles of withered rocks so in the previous class we have seen what is withering so withering means uh, breaking of rocks and formation of soil so uh, the, the uh, rocks get got broken and gets converted into soil and this is known as withering so this withered rock means broken down rocks so it consists of small particles of withered rocks so when these small particles of withered or rocks uh, the rocks got broken and they convert ultimately into one type of particles and that is nothing but sand we already know what is sand uh, we every day we can we see this type of uh, sand here and there so sand is nothing but small withered small particles of withered rocks so sandy soil is one of the poorest soil for growing plants because of its less nutrient and low water holding capacity we know that mm, this uh, sandy soil is not good for uh, agriculture and this is not good for growing plants because this one uh, has less uh, nutrient in it and it has very low water holding capacity you you may check it if you wish you can do one experiment and if you uh, take some so, uh, sand and on that if you pour some water what will happen the water will not be will not get holded by the soil it will automatically drain got got drained so it this sandy soil has a very low water holding capacity now we will move to this second second type of soil so the second type of soil is clay soil so the second type of soil is clay soil so the clay soil is one of the the clay soil is one of the best soils yeah in clay soil the particles are very very small in compared to our sandy soil and the, uh, the particles of clay soils are more small very very small very small one of the smallest types the particles of this soil are very tightly are tightly packed together with very little or no air space means in clay soil what happens the particles are very tightly packed means there is no air space very uh, if this air space is there between the particles that is very less and they are very tightly packed that's why they are very dense and they are very heavy also so this soil has very good water holding capacity and thus it is very good for growing plants <coughs> this uh, there if the the particles of this clay soil has very less uh, air space or very little air space that's why they can hold water more and thus for this reason we can choose this clay soil for growing different types of plants and if we see the third one that the last one loamy soil this uh, loamy soil this soil is uh, the combination of sand and clay so this loamy soil is nothing but the combination of the first two ones that is sand and clay so in this loamy soil we have this sand and clay together so it is it has much more nutrients in compared to other two types of soils so in compared to clay and sand so this loamy soil has much more uh, nutrients in it and thus this loamy soil is often considered as agricultural soil so this uh, our loamy soil is considered as agricultural soil why because it it has more nutrient and it is a comp uh, it is a combination of our sand and clay so uh, i hope up to this much types of soil you have understood if you have any confusion you can ask me in the group or you can personally message me also and you post the video uh, at this uh, different points and write down the answers and thank you for watching the video